the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. This is probably the cheapest DIY mic that you can make. It'll cost you less than a hundred bucks in parts. And when I say parts, I'm talking about like really like three different things that you need to order. And it sounds like this. So, I mean, let's talk about it. So what you are hearing right now, this is an electric capsule and an OPA Alice circuit inside of a cheapy, cheapy, like the cheapest donor body that you can find. So modding and hot rodding this piece of crap donor body mic is re really simple. So you start with one of these. These, This is like, they call this the like the BM-800 microphone. You can find these anywhere, like on, on eBay or, or Amazon. You can, here's one on Amazon. It's like 18 bucks, right? And so, I mean, it's a half decent body. It's okay. Um, it's nothing, you know, really special, but it gets the job done. And you know what? Again, it's all about how the mic sounds at the end, right? It's all about the results. I'm a results-driven person, so I'm very happy with the results here. So you get this cheapy mic body, right? 18 bucks, or you can find one, you know, elsewhere. So simple. And then you go to JLI Electronics, jlielectronics.com. And no, they're not a sponsor, and I'm not getting compensated for any of this. I'm just a fan of JLI Electronics because I love what they're doing here. You can get this really great electric capsule. And when I say really great, I mean, listen to the sound of it. I mean, because really what you're hearing here is the sound of the capsule going through a very transparent circuit. So this J, it's the JLI 2555BXZ3-GP. That seems like a lot of excessive numeration there. But it's a 25 millimeter electric capsule. And, you know, I mean, it couldn't be simpler. And then powering this whole thing, powering this beast, beast, powering this thing is an OPA Alice board, single OPA Alice by uh, Jules Reichenbusch. And um, that's all you need. And it, it wires up like this. There's a PDF over on the, uh, on the Alice board page. Uh, and all this stuff will be in the description. I'll put links to stuff. And, um, but it wires up re really easily. I mean, there's two connections to the capsule. And then you wire up the XLR jack, which you can, which you can uh, cannibalize from the uh, cheapy donor mic, right? So, I mean, capsule, body, and uh, OPA Alice board. And you can end up with something like this. So the board is 35 bucks. The capsule is 13 bucks. If you can get the body for like less than 20 bucks, right? I mean, that's what, 65 bucks right there before shipping and tax and whatever. And in, in about, uh, you know, I would say less than a half hour time. You know, you could probably do it in 10 minutes, but don't rush it. Don't rush it. In less than a half hour time. And, you know, if it takes you an hour, it takes you an hour. It takes you however long it takes. Take your time and enjoy the process. But you end up with something like this. Again, it sounds this good. And I mean, you know, hey, this isn't going to be my main mic. But if I had to use this for something, you know what? I could probably get away with it. Because again, it sounds pretty good. So here, let me just, you know what? I'm going to open it up and show you the inside real quick. Hold on. Let me, let me switch mics so I can do this. All right. So here I am. Okay. For an example of how it sounds, just a comparison. So here is the cheapy mic, right? And I'm talking into, obviously, the uh, Soyuz 017 FET, which is a, what, uh, $2,000 microphone, right? So, I mean, obviously, it's going to sound better. So... You know, inside this mic here, let me just show you how how big the Alice board is. It fits right in there, right? But I mean, that's it. That's it. So XLR jack, Alice board. I can't take the head basket off because I don't have a screwdriver with me. But, you know, you may, okay, you may need a new saddle for the capsule or you can 3D print one. I think you can actually order the saddle from JLI. You can order an extra saddle. And the thing is with an with a electric capsule like this one, it doesn't have the screws that screw into the saddle, so you just you just get some really good glue. And you glue it in place. That's all you need. You need some, you know, really good cement. You cement it on the on the saddle. And yes, it's permanently affixed to the saddle, but I mean, you know, hey, it doesn't I don't think it's going to really matter cuz uh, you know, you're probably not going to be you're probably not going to be popping in different uh different capsules on this mic once you get it done again you know this is a good cheapy mic good thing that you could kick this around you could put it in a travel bag you could take it with you wherever you go and if something terrible happens to if the dog eats it you're probably not going to cry that much 
I mean, you may cry. You may be attached to it. I mean, why not? All right, so we're back here on this. And again, look, that was a $2,000 mic. This is like $60 in parts. But I mean, the joy is in putting it together yourself. In doing your own modding, hot rodding, DIY, that is a, that's a true joy. So what do you think of this cheap thing? This cheap piece of crap that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let me know in the comments. All right, and again, if you're looking for any of these parts, I will put links to it all in, in the description thing. All right? Let me know what you think. All right, until next time. This is Marky Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.